Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Cancer. This is a little different spread, trying something different. I am going to shuffle these up. I'm going to meditate the energy into the cards about why you haven't found this person, any action you may need to take, any obstacles you may need to come overcome, even when you meet this person, okay? If there is any, doesn't mean there will be some. Uh, any action you need to take, who will be the right person, all right? It's to help you recognize who's right for you, who's not, where you'll meet them, maybe even when, definitely some messages and guidance uh, from spirit here, all right? As well as some outcome energy and how this will play out. All right, oops, I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to show you that, but <laughs> it's all right. It's going to come out in the wash anyway, right? There we go. Uh, yeah, I want to flip the cards over when I'm done. Cancer. I need to know. About their person. Ooh. There we go. I don't want you to see it. I didn't really see it. Just the border. Okay, Cancer. Let's just get these babies straightened out here. All right, let's start flipping cards. Here we go. Why you haven't met this person? Some of you are traveling or you're at a distance from this person, so you haven't run into each other yet. Some of you are probably um, moving away from somebody else or maybe you're in transition right now. Okay, some of you may be moving, maybe traveling. Uh, you haven't met this person. Your paths haven't crossed. Very interesting, Cancer. You may be at a distance, too. There may be some things that you still need to learn. Uh, you need to leave in the past until you're ready to move forward, okay? Because I feel like you're. some of you may be leaving somebody behind. I do feel like whoever this is, you're going to grow close, closer with this person. So I feel like you need to kind of learn to go with the flow a little bit. Take, like when you get to... To, um, meet somebody this may be something that you need to why you haven't found someone it could be because they're at a distance but I also feel um, if you haven't met and when you do meet you need to allow things to move forward calmly and peacefully to get to know people as you go okay uh, to not run away until you've given a, it an opportunity unless of course you feel it isn't going to move forward because if it isn't going to move forward right you're going to move away to avoid a disaster so take that as it resonates but it looks like you may not have met them yet i do feel like when you do if you go with the flow and move calmly and peacefully sort of learn as you go about this person i feel like you'll grow closer okay so there's a message for you all right yeah so there is some obstacles that need to be overcome some of you yeah there's an energy here where some of you are carrying around some regret and remorse for something, okay? So if you've moved away from somebody and you're at a distance, you may regret moving away from this person, okay? There may be some regret here. Some of you may feel that you didn't do the right thing and you'd like to have another opportunity because it's looking like you may have met the person. You just sort of, you might either be at a distance, maybe you regret that, okay? Maybe you've moved away and you regret moving away, taking another job. But it's really about letting it flow, uh, not moving away till you get a chance to get to know them and learn a little bit more about them before you rush away. Some of you are always thinking it's going to end in a disaster, so you take off before you even get an opportunity uh, to see it. So there may be some regrets there, possibly about moving away. Uh, from a distance okay so take that as it resonates <sighs> obstacles you may need to overcome yeah so I feel like something ended yeah so there's some obstacles you may need to overcome and that's where these two cards come together okay that's where they come together and I feel like <laughs> you're ending things before you give it a chance to go to get going some of you are regretting definitely ending something with someone you moved away from or you're moving away too quickly before you get to know know somebody you're just always trying to avoid a disaster because you think it's always going to end so you end it first okay that kind of an energy where you're just simply at a distance and you haven't met and you actually may meet so it's telling you to just 
get a chance to know each other. Travel might be a problem, right? So some of you may regret um, having a long distance relationships as well. So if you've been having a lot of these long distance things, maybe those are the obstacles is you won't, you know, you're not finding that right person because they're too far away. You can't get a chance to know know each other because you're there's too much travel involved. So might be telling you to avoid those long distance relationships if you find yourself in those uh, a lot or repeatedly. Ah, yeah, so there we go. We have an offer. Yeah, so there is something new. Some of you, uh, you need to learn to make all offers. You need to be more reliable. So some of you may regret not being reliable or, yeah, being more reliable, making solid offers. There's something that wasn't solid here. So I feel like what happens is, is yeah, it's feeling like someone who has long distance or they've moved away from somebody and ended it because they didn't feel they were reliable. So, But you need to get to know the person or that person needs to get to know you more. They need an opportunity to move closer. You may need to move closer to someone or someone may be regretting or you're regretting about not moving towards them okay so very and it's it's it could be travel distance but something's constantly coming to an end and i feel like you end things very quickly if that offer uh, commitment isn't made right away if this person doesn't do it but some people need more time so think about that okay yeah I think what you can do is be more reliable, make more reliable offers, more solid. And uh, yeah, I do. It's simple as that. I feel like someone may have moved away from you or uh, or you uh, moved away from them and regret it. But there's a, a solid offer that you could, this is an obstacle you can overcome. And this is what you can do is to stop ending it before you, you know, like to be reliable. Some of you are just like... Some of you get stressed out really easy if things don't move forward and you don't get an offer quick, so you kind of end it and move on. That's kind of for the most part, and other than those long-distance relationships that never seem to work, okay, because it's very hard to plant that seed and for that seed to grow when you're at a distance. So there you go. Who could be the right person? Ah, King of Pentacles, somebody who's financially stable, grounded, practical. That would be a good person for you. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, of course, water and earth mix very well. So yeah, someone that works in finance, very grounded, someone who's planning for their future. So I am getting an energy where there is someone that's possibly thinking, if you've met somebody, please don't rush away from them. Okay, too quick because they haven't made you an offer. There is possibly somebody who's right for you that is planning a future. All right, somebody who wants to plan a future for you. And this is the kind of person you need. They may already be around you, okay, or it's, this is how it may play out when you meet them. Give them a chance to plan, to take their time. They need to do things at their own pace and in their own way, okay? And maybe... This is the person who moved away and ended things because they didn't make you an offer. So it could go either way, but you'll know how you feel. You'll know your scenario and your patterns, okay? Oh. <laughs> Where will you find this person? Oh, you may have already met this person. You may find this person when you can temper this and find that inner balance, all right? There may be something you need to release and become tempered and balanced in. And that's not rushing away so quickly. Some of you worry when somebody doesn't make you an offer quick enough, so you end it very quickly because you want to be the one to end it, but it could be this person. But there is this isn't the person who's right for you, so... They plan for the future. They need to do things at their own pace. They need to plan. They work a lot, okay? They're concentrating on their pentacles, right? Their money, their future. They may be in finance. They may be an accountant, a banker, anything, or someone who's a business owner and works a lot. They may do the books and handle the money, okay? That would be somebody, apparently, that would be good for some of you. If not, it's just someone who's practical and grounded will plan a future with you that you can see in the future, and they'll see you. So I, I feel like you need somebody earthy. If you have earth in your chart, you're definitely going to have a connection because I feel like you may have met this person. I feel like it's like you always, I, this is a, what I feel for those of you who are the ones that stress out when you don't get that solid offer right away, when they don't move towards you, okay? 
You're not giving it a time to move forward. I feel that, but it could be someone who's regretting that with you too, because I, I, these readings can flip. But I feel like you may have met them, and I do feel like there is chemistry and balance, but this person doesn't recognize it, okay? Because they're busy working on their money, but the person that's perfect is someone who will plan a future. They will see you, they will recognize you. And uh, I kind of feel like they're already there. I feel like you may have met them, some of you. If not, you're going to meet them probably very soon. So message from spirit. Oh, yep, this could lead to marriage. <laughs> yeah, you found this person. I, I feel like this could lead to marriage. I do feel like this person is somebody who's building a solid foundation. They're planning for the future. They Maybe they weren't ready. Okay, so I feel as though some of you may have ended something with someone and you may have a habit of doing that because they don't make an offer. They don't commit to you right away and you don't get engaged quick enough, that sort of thing, because they are someone who they do see you in the future. All right, if this has happened to you, they were planning, they want to have their finances in order before they get married. They, they're looking for that perfect person and your perfect person is going to have the same, whatever your energy is, they're going to have the same. Uh, but there's going to be chemistry. There is a perfect fit here. Uh, I see this leading to marriage. If you can release this need, if you need to learn to go with the flow, concentrate on your own finances, get yourself balanced when you meet this person, just let it evolve, learn as you go. You might meet this person on a trip and you may regret not making them an offer and ending things. Some of you may regret the way something ended with somebody, and they might have been your person, but I do feel like there is going to be some kind of offer made. Let's see where this goes. I'm excited for you guys, Cancer. Yeah, somebody wants to express their feelings. I feel like some of you are going to meet someone either at a distance or you're going to start to move and get to know each other slowly. Whatever you do, don't start freaking out and end it because they don't make you an offer too quick. Give this person a chance to get their head wrapped around the idea of commitment, okay? Because some of you, it's like... Yeah, somebody wants to express their feelings. You may have to be the one. Flip this, okay? Like I said, it may be you, maybe them. Whew. Yeah. Some of you, yeah, it's safe to love. Somebody needs to get to know you. They need to know it's safe before they move forward. You, Like I said, you could be in a long distance thing and the seed's been planted, but you're ending it because it's not going forward. It's not being nurtured, okay? Because of the distance, a lot of travel. But just if you go with the flow, I kind of feel like this person is planning financially for the future. I feel like they do see you as that perfect person. They do. They see the balance. There's There's chemistry. All of it's right there. So you need to be patient and wait. You, some of you need to learn to be patient for these offers, for the marriage offer, for the commitment. Because this person's working for the future. <sighs> yeah, there's chemistry. Playfulness. Yeah, just have fun. To recapture this romance, have fun. Try to be light. Try to not get up in your head about rushing forward, about doing everything exactly right. This person has to do things their way too. Okay, I, I feel like some of you may have missed a connection with someone or you may in the future if you don't go with the flow. You don't allow this person. Somebody here who's right for you is someone who's financially stable. So you have to let them get there. Okay, you're going to meet this person and you're going to need to be patient and let this person think and wrap their head around whether or not you're right for them. They, they have to make sure they do things their own way. Beautiful energy. Safe to love, yeah, open your heart. Somebody wants to, they just need to feel safe. Some of you feel like it's not safe when you don't get an offer, a solid offer right away, or it takes too long, maybe because you're at a distance, I don't know. But I, I kind of feel too, it's kind of a bit of a warning about these long distance relationships. It's very hard to uh, make an offer and nurture that, okay, when you're so far away. So watch those long distance but there's definitely something beautiful happening for you guys. All right, Cancer. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a little Sag energy, maybe some air. I see some Mars energy. Um, <laughs> Aries, Scorpio energy as well. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like somebody regrets not being reliable. So, you know, you may have moved away from somebody here. 
And that's what is. Why haven't you found this person? Because maybe they move away and break up with you because they don't, they're not ready. They're planning for their future. They're not ready for a commitment too. So you break up with them because you don't want to wait. There's a need for patience and temperance balance. There's something that needs to be healed here. I feel like your person's around you. And if they're not, they're going to be. And this is what may happen. So just letting you know, all right. But this could lead to marriage and a commitment. This person's probably planning. Uh, you may be getting somebody who wants to come back. They regret not being more like this, okay, and uh, wanting to do this. So we shall see. All right. Oh, Cancer. I can hear you guys in the comments. Oh, yeah, I know who this is. <laughs> Maybe you don't. You never know. It could be a new person with a similar energy. We have a te tendency to have chemistry with similar people. So keep that in mind. All right. Be patient, guys. All right. Take care of yourselves. I wish you the very best in the future. Bye for now.